Good afternoon everyone, hope you've had an absolutely brilliant week. I'm back in Glasgow and you may notice I'm at the wet weather spot despite it being an absolutely glorious day today. Now that's because I have unfinished business with this banking. You may have seen on my Instagram, I had a bit of an issue with this. I was trying to do a front wheel pivot and I ended up getting the handlebar go right, oh yeah, right in between the legs. Fortunately, it did just get me in the thigh and gave me a stonker of a bruise. Again, if you've been on my social media, you'll have seen I have put some tan wall tires on this bike. Now, I did change my tires fairly recently. I was on Conti, then I changed to Maxxis, and now I'm on Schwalbe. And yeah, the reason being 26 inch, you have a lot of choice of tires. I don't personally have a contract with Continental. That's purely with just you know, drop and roll shows. Now the Contis were good. I did tear a couple of sidewalls on them. Grip wise, I kind of felt like the tire tread was more cross country bias. It didn't really do it for me for street riding. The Maxxis I tried was really grippy, definitely a softer compound. I went and rode some natural, some logs and stuff, and they gripped so much better. But the side knobs on them were very flexible and they made the tire feel really unpredictable when carving, like doing 360s and stuff. So, I'm gonna try some Schwalbe. These are the tabletop models. I wanted to try some tan wall tires just because I like the way they break up the, the tire from the rim. Previously with black rim and black tyres, it kind of made it look like it had massive balloon tyres on it, which I'm not quite so into. I know tan walls are going to divide opinions. I think on this bike with this frame colour, it works really, really well. And on Instagram, a lot of you loved it. There were a few people who didn't like it, but so far, I really like them. They're definitely not as grippy as the Maxxis from what I've used, but they feel way more predictable when doing cornering and, and so on. Now, my back one is tubeless. My front one is with tubes and I'm gonna see how they grip, how the sidewalls cope, and generally, you know, how do they cope with street trials. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get on this bike, let's get on this banking, and let's see if we can do this 1080. I'm gonna to have to do some math and actually count how many rotations that was. I'm not sure if it's a 1080 or 900 or what. Whatever it is, I like it. You may have seen this gap in a fairly recent video, but while I'm here, I've got my GoPro, I've got it on 100 frames a second. I kind of want to see what this looks like. So I'm just going to send the bunny gap from there to there again and just get it in slow-mo and yeah, fingers crossed it'll look pretty good.
working this box before. It's gonna make a, a lot of noise, but give it a try. It's a really awkward shape on top, but this will either go really nicely or just not at all, but it's worth a try. But I am not kidding, that took hours and hours and hours and hours and that is the best I could get. I got onto the last rail, I really wanted to just ride off the end of it but that's all I can do, especially because I've used up all of my batteries, I've got a red light showing on this. This is actually a new day from yesterday and I charged up all my batteries, that took three cannon batteries to get that. I'm absolutely done in. Tell you what, those tyres, pretty damn good. They've been stable, they felt pretty grippy. Uh, the sidewalls haven't split, uh, they've taken tubeless pretty easily and they should be pretty good in skate parks as well. I wasn't so sure on the tan walls at the start but I've actually grown to really really like them now. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. Do they look good? They're kind of retro aren't they? I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I've got Patreon. The people on there supporting me are helping this channel survive. So if you want to help me do more videos, please check out my Patreon link below and I'd love to see you there. I hope the weather's amazing where you are at the minute and I'll catch you all next week where hopefully I'll get out, do some more of this stuff, get out on the mountain bike, I haven't decided yet and yeah, we'll have a good time. So see you later everyone, bye bye.